man, we have epic news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know give it a huge thumbs up let's crush over 200 likes for this video thumbs up right now right now right now and ps5 console giveaway is happening in october i'm hooking a lucky subscriber up one subscribe right now on youtube and two follow me on twitter to get in the giveaway Let's get right to the first big news item. PlayStation VR 2 full hardware specs have been leaked. <laughs> and it's crazy, bro. This is coming from GamingIntel.com. They're saying that um, Sony had a behind-the-doors uh, developer summit showcasing uh, the hardware for game developers and the information has gotten out on the internet check this out the leak states that the playstation vr2 will have fresnel oled screens with a resolution of watch this 2000 by 2040 per eye <laughs> that gives the headset full 4k hdr which the, the article is saying is an impressive feat for a vr headset all right that's crazy it continues to talk about it but it's also saying that playstation is planning on not lowering the fidelity when it comes to uh, vr games you know when you play a virtual reality game you can tell it's a vr game because the graphics don't look anything as good as a regular triple a game because <laughs> they have to scale it back to um um run the same um 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 presentation or resolution frame rate on both eyes sony has somehow figured a way to um not have the um graphical fidelity as lowered as past vr games according to this article saying that sony and this is this is what's crazy they're saying sony will release big triple a games and you'll have two download options a vr option to play it with the virtual reality and a download option to just download the game without vr say meaning sony is really really uh, taking vr seriously just Imagine, bro, this just blew my mind. Play God of War. And you have the option of playing it in regular triple A in the third person perspective, or it zooms in and you're behind the eyes of Kratos with and you're like wielding the chains of Olympus. Bro, that would be insane. And so according to this article, uh, the specs have leaked very impressive feet. Sony's VR will be 4K HDR and will be launching with major big triple A games. Now, Sony's already revealed the um, controllers. The controllers look crazy. I already said that it's going to have the same DualSense technology. And I think there was another leak that said the DualSense technology would also be in the headset. <coughs> Bro. <coughs> Side me up, day one. This PlayStation VR definitely, definitely gonna pick this up. And so, dope, 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 dope information. Bro, this next news item is so epic. Bro, if you have been worried about getting a PlayStation 5, um, console sony has just announced great 
news for um fans. Sony has just claims that they've secured enough components to put 12 million more PlayStation 5 consoles into the market during the current fiscal year, which ends March 22. So, Sony just had their quarterly uh, investor report. They're up, their uh, their briefing for investors. And they have said they have secured the components they've purchased and secured the components they needed to meet their year-end goal of um, um, securing 12 million more additional PlayStation 5 consoles. And so, there was all of this doom and gloom. Oh, we're going to not be able to get a PS5, not going to get a PS5. It looks like Sony has done what they needed to do to secure uh, their consoles. So it's great news. We might get a healthy replenishing during this crucial holiday season uh, for um, fans trying to still get a PlayStation 5 console. So this is great news. Uh, this article is from VideoGameChronicles.com, but multiple sources are talking about it, that um, the shortages of semiconductor has impacts in various areas of the environment. We have been taking some action. And so Sony is pretty much saying, this is what they uh, a quote is saying. For PS5, the target has been set for the number of units to be sold this year. And we have, and I quote, secured the number of chips that is necessary to achieve that. Regarding the supply of semiconductors, we are not concerned, said uh, Sony's CFO Hiroki to Toki. Um, he said that they've secured the semiconductors they needed and they are not concerned about the semiconductor shortage. So let's see if some PS5 uh, production um, ramps up during uh, the fall and winter months. Great, great, great news. Speaking of PlayStation 5s, Sony has reiterated in the same um, financial briefing that the $500 disc version PS5 console, they're actually now making a profit on every console being sold. Uh, compare that to um, um, Xbox, which they're saying that they're still making taking a loss on the Series X uh, console sales. Uh, Sony is now turning a profit and uh, soon they're going to start turning profits on the $400 Dislex version. They still say that they're making profits on that console too because of their, their software sales. But uh, this is good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, and a, a lot of tidbits came out um, during this um, financial briefing. A couple of key points. Um, 2.3 million PS5 units and check this out. 500,000 um, 500, PS4 units shipped during the last three months. And so PS4s are still selling, um, which makes, and the PS4 total global sales of lifetime, 116 million, bro, over 116 million, 116.4 million to be exact, which is crazy. Sony consoles always pass. 100 million all of them did except for the ps3 which is just crazy 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 so overall sony's had another record-breaking uh, quarter they've had one of their best um quarters ever financially uh for the console during a non-holiday uh, three-month period so uh, things are looking good for playstation um big thing is that i know a lot of dudes have been concerned about is whether or not they'll be able to get a playstation console all right i do have one more news item and i just thought this was funny i'm gonna call this fruit gate that's, that's the best way i could describe it fruit gate there's videos on twitter comparing the fruit physics this is, uh, watch this, of Halo compared to Call of Duty. Now watch this. All right. <coughs> so this is Halo. Check out the, um, the physics for what happens in Halo Infinite when the watermelons and the fruits are being shot. And then compare it to uh, Call of Duty 2019. This is tough. Watch this.
Oh, y'all see that? Oh, oh man, the banana. Pew, pew. <laughs> like, they, they, like, they barely disappeared. Check that out. Check, check out the banana. Now, check this out. <laughs> and so, people are going in on the internet on the fruit physics of Call of Duty in 2019 and how it's miles ahead of what Halo Infinite on the world's most powerful console is doing. I just thought it was funny, bro. I wanted to share it with y'all. <laughs> All right. I can see y'all in the conversation right now. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about? Fruitgate, more PS5s, uh, VR, PlayStation VR, full 4K. Sign off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Who in the comment section can't wait for Kino Bridge of Spirits? Let's go in September. It's going down. We out.